Hi, my name is Mark Ashenhust, and this is the um, demonstration of Project 2 for CSE 325 embedded microprocessors. Um, this project is a motor control for a robot um, that we have here. You'll see this in a better video, uh, better condition um, at the end. Um, so we've constructed the robot started on the pins, the wiring, and we're doing code to make it do a square figure eight as well as a circular figure eight. So we have our main um, control methods here, which really just initializes the pins, clocks, peripherals. Uh, the hello world is not really needed um, there. Um, timings for uh, the clocks, we initialize pins and we have an interrupt once we begin the, the robot's movements just so we can press a switch to allow it to begin. The main methods are going to be found in um, our utilities and motor methods. Utilities has a switch one interrupt which is used to begin the robot. Setup LED one was used to test the interrupt. It will not be used, uh, you can see the code there, it will not be used in our main, um, in the main moving of the robot. The port C, port D IRQ handler is what it really executes the code and what controls the interrupt. Our delay is so we can delay the timings between our movements of the robot. The square and circle are, will be our two main methods to get the robot to move in a square motion and get the robot to move in a circular motion. Methods in our motor initializes the pins. We can change the speed, the duty cycle, the power on the motors. Um, moving the motor, which uh, controls going forward, reverse, left, right, short breaks, and a stop, and move circle, which allows us to control the duty cycle of individual motors. So we'll go to utils C now. We can go over motors moving in a circle. Um, actually, we'll begin with motor method, uh, motor method before utilities. We have our ports, which control the motors. The PWM, P, P, port B2 and 3 control the power that's going to the motors. And 0, 1, and C1, C2 control the left and right wheels accordingly. Um, enable ports B and C, as we can see here. We clear the mock, set it. Um, the difference here is port B is driven with a TPM2 source clock, rather than being a general GPIO to control the edge PWM. Um, and you'll see here you know, the uh, mod CNV, um, which allows us to change the speed of the wheels. So we'll jump to move motor rather than change speed. And move motor is what allows us to do forward movements, reverse movements, left movements, right movements, uh, short breaks, and a stop. Direction one, uh, and then I have a table of contents that corresponds to forward, reverse, left, right, short break, and stop. Controlling each of the B pin zero, B pin one, um, accordingly P PWM signals two, three, four, five, and else, which I'm using six to uh, break stop, which is just our else statement, that'll be our default. And we can go to change speed, and we see in integer for a wheel, so a one is going to be to turn right, um, and a two is gonna turn left. Uh, else is gonna allow the motor to continue forward, which resets the, the duty cycle, the power, of the two wheels and sets them high to move forward. Um, moving into our utility C file, we have set up the LED one, which isn't used. It was really just used for the testing of the interrupt. We have our main, uh, we have our setting up the switch one interrupt, getting the IRQ value, um, as well as the uh, handler for the interrupt. This is what allows the code to execute. So this clears the interrupt flag so we don't get stuck there. 
Motor square is what allows the motor to move in a square motion. We have a delay of five seconds. We have a one second delay five times. And then we move the motor in a circle and then it will stop. We then have our delay, that'll be the next function. This is just a uh, scheduled delay using the Oscar clock, uh, something that's been used in a previous project. And moving upwards, we will get to the circle method of move. Uh, we can go to the square movement first. Um, the square has a five second delay to begin with. Once we hit the switch one button, it will. Um, begin this method motor square, which will begin with a five second delay. Then we move the motor, one is forward, stop, uh, forward for two seconds and then it stops. And then three is gonna go left for 1.475 seconds, which turns out to be a nice 90 degree left turn on my hardwood floor, because we haven't done, um, we, we don't have sen any sensor detection yet. And then it will stop. Then it'll move forward, stop, left again, forward, left again, stop, forward, stop. Um, and you can get the gist of where it's going from there. I have a comment where it begins, it comes back to the center and then begins the right motion. Um, we'll move up and then we can go to the motor circle, which kind of does the same thing. It will, um, the square begins going left. The uh, circular figure eight is going to begin going right. So we'll just turn right in a circle, hits the center, and goes left, right? Just a, just a general figure eight there. And we'll see moving one right, second right, left, second left. And looking back at what happens when it begins is we'll have the square motion, stop for five seconds, and then it will begin the circular motion. And that is our general code. So from here, I will break off and give you a demonstration. So here, I've, as I've described, we have the robot. Um, the power is located right here on this switch. I'll move the cord. And we can turn the robot on. And then down under the robot, we will see the LEDs have turned on under there. We know the robot's on. And then we'll come around the back and we'll see two switches. We have a switch here on the right side and we have one on the left side. Switch two is on the left, switch one is on the right. By switching switch one, hitting switch one, we will cause an interrupt, which will begin a five second countdown to um, doing the square. And once we are done with the square movement, there will be a five second pause before we do the circle figure eight. So I will begin now. And we can watch the robot. Doing the square. And then we will begin the circular figure eight. This is done by changing the duty cycle, PWM, one of the motors, and right here it will change to the second one. And stop. 